Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to look at Google Image Scrapper that will scrap single or multiple images per query from Google Image. So recently, one of my client challenged me to, you know, download approximately 9000 images of different products from Google. Actually, I have worked on a kind of a Google image scrapper in the past. So I accepted the challenge and developed a Google image scrapper for single image per query or multiple image per query. So let's get started. First thing, the code used in this video is available on my GitHub and the link for it is in the description of this video. So I have created two files, single image per query and multiple image per query. We will take a look each of them one by one. But before we start, you need to set up your Python environment. I suggest you should create a new Python environment. If you are new to Python environment, you can go to Python virtual environment and here you will learn how you can create a new Python virtual environment based on your operating system. Once you create your virtual environment and activate your virtual environment, you need to install these three things, sorry these four things actually, Selenium, Web Driver Manager, Request and Pillow. Once you install these requirements, you can install them by using pip install requirement.txt and hit enter. It will install the dependencies. Once you install the dependencies, there is one more step there. You need to have Google Chrome or Chromium installed on your operating system. That is must. Otherwise, Selenium will throw error that did not found Google Chrome or Chromium. So once you set these three things, virtual environment, install the dependencies and install Google Chrome, we are ready to move ahead. So let's go and see first single image per query file. So there is image folder which is named as download. So all the downloaded images will go into these download folder. This part will initialize the driver. This is the sleep time. Whenever we need to, you know, wait for some time, we'll use sleep time. So we have a function Google image, sorry, download Google image. It will take search query and number of images. So this is our URL. This part will open the browser and hit the URL. Once we, once the URL is loaded, we'll get the box for the search query, insert our search query, enter, and we'll wait. Then we will, you know, list down all the images that appear on that page, and then loop over all the images and there is actually, you know, two, three ways Google renders the images. One is encrypted, which is thumbnail, but we don't want that. So we'll go for HTTP and, you know, we'll find the source of that uh, HTTP link. And if the source is there, we will save the image. Also, there is a possibility that the image is provided in base 64. Then in that case, we will, you know, get that base 64 and convert it into an image. So this is it, I think. And the code is kind of self explanatory. Now, I think you understand that you can call the function in whichever way you like. So what I have done is I have created tags. Inside that we have tags and we will loop over the tags and download the image. So let me run this file.
you can see it has started downloading the images so one image per tag And you can see we have downloaded the images here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it went successfully. Let me clear the screen. There is small advance information is that in case if you want to run this script on a server where you don't have a graphical user interface where you cannot open the browser the way we just did what you can do is that wrap this driver.get functions into a virtual display so there is a python virtual display and you can use this package with the help of xvfb virtual display you can you know wrap all the driver.get function uh, with uh, a virtual display and that will lead to no graphical user interface and it will work as well so i hope that is informative to you now let's move let me first clear this now let's move to another section where let's say in case you want to download multiple images or you can say all the images that are loaded in a page so for example let's say when you go to google and i write elon musk for example so here you can see there are basically few images but when you scroll down it will load other images you can see this scroll bar getting smaller and smaller okay and eventually it will say that there is no more images okay it says that no more images so in case you want to download all the images what you need to do is that virtually scroll to the bottom of the page and then download the images so i have written that script as well so this is the script and here there is a function called scroll to bottom so this will scroll to the bottom of the page and then it will eventually download images so again i'm using the same kind of structure we previously used in single image uh, python file is that i have a tags and i will you know loop over this tags and download images for each tag at this point i'm providing the value 5 so it will download five images per query so let me run this let's see the action going you can see it has started scrolling and now once the scrolling is finished it has downloaded the images you can see it has downloaded five images all files are here okay two three four and five yeah so it has downloaded the images so i think this is it for this video and i hope this is informative to you and this will be helpful uh, if you face any trouble running these scripts please uh, let me know in the comment section i will get back to you now the last part of a seamless promotion if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace